Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Tamur and this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. Now, cloud security and cloud computing are two of the hottest fields right now. Going into 2024, the cloud computing market is expected to hit over 1 trillion by 2028, which is absolutely crazy. It's like a growth of 600% like over the past 10 years, right? And if you were watching my channel, last week I made a guide like about how to get started in cloud security. So people who want to start their career in cloud security in 2024, what are the steps they have to do? I link the video here. You can check that out. And one of the key things which I touched upon in that video was uh, getting cloud security certified, you know, choosing a cloud security certification, which will help you get your foot in the door, right? It will show managers that you're serious about your cloud security career. But how do you get started, right? Which cloud security certification should you choose? Because there are so many options right now. So hopefully this guide will help you out. So this is a cloud security certifications guide for 2024. I make this literally every year. I want to make sure that it stays updated and hopefully this video will help you make that decision about which cloud security certification is most aligned with your own career goals going into 2024. So if you're new to the channel, guys, please do like and subscribe to this channel and share this video. That will really help the channel to grow. Thank you very much. So the first, before we get started into like certifications, one very important point I need you to understand that cloud security certifications, they come in two types of categories, okay? One is platform agnostic, and one is platform specific. Platform agnostic are certifications like the CCSP or the CCSK, which are not linked to any platform. They are not linked to Google or Azure or AWS, and they focus more on technical concepts, okay? And they are platform agnostic, so they are not linked with any platform. And they give you a very, very good foundational to advanced knowledge of the cloud. The other ones are platform specific, which are certifications like AWS security or, you know, Google certificate security or Azure, which are linked to a specific platform. And these usually require you to have knowledge of the platform, which you're trying to secure like AWS or Azure. If you have zero knowledge of the cloud, then I would definitely recommend going with the top one first, a platform agnostic one before attempting to take on the like the other ones, which are platform specific, because you need to make sure that your foundation is rock solid, right? And so let's take a look at what are the most popular uh, cloud platform agnostic one certifications in the market. If you're starting out, the first one is the CCSK, which is the certificate of cloud security knowledge. If you've researched cloud security, then you would have heard of the CCSK. It is widely recognized as the best probably certification for entry level people. Okay. It gives you a very, very good, completely vendor neutral understanding of how to secure data in the cloud, right? And it goes into details about things like cloud security concepts, like cloud architecture, identity and access management, key management. It can be taken online. It has around, I think, 60 questions. And it, it tests your knowledge about the, what you call, what it covers, the documents. Uh, CCSK, the, the Cloud Security Alliance, they require you to know about the CSA security guidance, ENSA recommendations, CSA cloud controls metrics. I've made a detailed video on the CCSK, okay? And you can, uh, I'll link it here. You can check that also. But the good thing is uh, there are no experience requirements for the CCSK. So you can go in blind. You can just start your own career with the CCSK and get a very, very good foundational knowledge of the cloud, okay? The next one is the CCSP. Now, if you've been in cybersecurity, of course, you'd have heard of, heard of the CISSP by SC Square. So the same people who made the CISSP, they launched the CCSP for specifically focusing on cloud security. And it has become very, very popular, very rapidly. It has the full weight of the IC square behind it. And they've like really maintained the quality of the certification, right? It requires you to have knowledge of the CCSP domains. If you've ever heard about the CISSP, it's very similar to that, but focused on cloud security. And it has like around, I think, um, six domains are there from the ccsp they could call which are covered in the common body of knowledge okay yeah there are six domains like cloud architecture cloud data security and all that but most importantly guys this is not not and i repeat please know this this is not a beginner level certification okay it requires you to have around five years of uh, like experience cumulative and three of them must be in information security and uh one of the in one year in one of the six domains the good thing is if you've done the ccsk be before then you get like one year, of, one year of experiences there. And if you've done the CISSP, you can actually substitute that for the CCSP. But very, very important. And I get this, asked this question a lot, a lot of times, like which should you go with? Like I said, 
this both of them are excellent certifications and they are backed by excellent uh, organizations okay but like i said the ccsk does not have an experience requirement and passing the exam is enough by the ccsp requires you have five years of experience and one of those has to be in the cloud if you're at the entry level do the ccsk okay if you're more experienced good go do the ccsp the ccsp can also be quite expensive and you get those amf payments okay a lot of times companies are happy to reimburse you but do remember this and both of them have very good standings within the industry okay you can't go along but like i said it really depends on where you are in your career if you're starting out do the ccsk if you are more experienced do the ccsp what i would recommend is do the ccsk okay get some years of experience under your belt and then do the ccsp that will give you two of the very best certifications okay around so that don't be hasty don't jump into ccsp you you might find it too overwhelming and then you might fail and lose all your money and time okay so don't get too excited do the ccsk first if you don't have knowledge okay now we've covered two of the most uh, important ones let's to move, move on to platform specific which require you to have knowledge about a specific cloud provider right like cloud platforms you have aws where i work azure gcp google cloud they can have hundreds and hundreds of security services and companies you know when they're migrating they want to have assurance that uh, the people they are hiring they know about these uh, platforms okay and these certifications will help you to stand out and get that job okay so which are the most popular ones first off let, let's take aws i'm a bit biased as i work in aws as a security consultant so I, I guess i might be a little biased here but i it is the most popular cloud computing platform in the world right now uh, it has the majority of the cloud market share microsoft and google are very very fast behind but just to show that uh, when you talk about AWS, you really can't go wrong because it has such a huge market share. And when you talk about AWS security right now, so the demand for AWS professionals is not going away, right? And the best certification for this is they have their own security specialty. It shows that you, it gives you a very good working knowledge of the cloud. And you are required to have that. You need to understand how AWS security services work, how they are configured, things like guard duty, security hub, config. So you need to have a few years experience, okay, within AWS. And they recommend that you have it. Nothing is stopping you from just going ahead and doing it. But if you do not have AWS experience, I would not recommend it. In fact, a lot of people ask me this question, and this is the path I always recommend, which is go for the AWS Solutions Architect Associate. The Solutions Architect Associate is a beginner level certification. It'll give you, it'll teach you uh, like how AWS works, what are the services, what are the concepts, and then you can go into the AWS security specialty. If you already have experience, then okay, you can go right ahead and do the AWS security specialty first. But this is the path I took, and this led me to pass the like, both examinations on my first try. Okay, uh, the second one is Microsoft Azure. So Azure is again number two in the market. It has the full power of Microsoft behind it, which is one of the biggest companies in the world. And for those who are in Microsoft Azure, the AWS, the Azure security engineer. Again, it's very, very similar to the security specialty. You're expected to have a good knowledge of the platform and understand how the services are interacting with, right? They have that AZ500 examination, which you require to pass. You need to have a good knowledge of uh, Azure services, you know, how they work. Again, identity and access management, platform protection, all of those. So you need to understand this and again, uh, I would not recommend jumping into this without having the foundation knowledge of Azure. The good thing is Microsoft, most people already have a good knowledge of uh, Microsoft uh, services, right? So the learning curve might be a little bit easier compared to say AWS. So if you already have that, this is again a very, very good examination. And, and Microsoft Azure, you cannot go wrong with. It is definitely number two in the market right behind AWS. Let's go on to the third one, which is Google Cloud. I don't need to tell you who Google is and what Google Cloud is, but it's similar to the above previous two. And the Google Security Engineer is very, very similar. It proves that you have the ability to you know, secure Google Cloud. And it's very, very similar. Same things like identity and access management, data protection, key management. And you're required to know these services and how to secure them on the cloud. So, and Google recommends having three years of experience on this. And if you're getting Google Cloud, and usually Google Cloud security people, they get paid a lot. Uh, I, I haven't worked in Google, so I can't say, but usually within the market surveys and everything, it has a very good foundation, like a very good reputation. And the path I always recommend, if you're going with Google Cloud, do the Google security engineer and look at the Google professional cloud architect. It is one of the most 
highest paid certifications in the world right now and it gives you a great foundation and you can really get a very very good salary uh, across year after year the google professional cloud architect is one of the highest paid certifications you can get you can uh, potentially get like a google security architect position there but again this is a very very tough examination i'm just recommending you because i have seen this and it gives you a very very good uh, pathway the google security engineer and then you can do the google cloud architect if you're more focused on the google cloud and one new entry which this year which we have is the kubernetes one if you're not familiar with kubernetes it is an open source container orchestration system like uh, without getting into too much details it was originally designed by google and it's now maintained by the cloud native computing foundation it is a way of automating software deployments you know scaling and everything uh, um, kubernetes i can talk about whole day but they have released their certifications the cloud native foundation which is computing foundation which is the certified kubernetes security specialty the reason i have mentioned this i have seen quite a lot of demand for this certification suddenly popping up okay this is a very technical examination it is aimed at people who know about kubernetes okay it is an online proctored performance based test you're not going to be testing just doing theoretical things you need to be doing things from the command line okay you need to have passed the kubernetes um, administrator ck examination prior to doing this and this is a very very tough examination the reason i've mentioned this because i've seen that a lot of demand a lot of people doing this also and if you're in an environment where kubernetes is present and being heavily worked out this will make you stand out but again like i said first you need to do the kubernetes administrator examination prior to attempting this and very important this is not a beginner level certification guys this is a very tough one but if you're like if you want to challenge yourself and you have a long term look at the cloud do check out this certification it is like uh, worth it in my opinion so now i hope you got a very very good idea of the cloud security certification which are there and i hope this will help you to sort out your career in 2024 just remember the golden rule which i always say that certifications will get your foot in the door but cloud is an extremely challenging field and you need to be hands on okay having lots and lots of certs they might help you for the interview process but your hard work and experience will make the difference in the long run so check out my other videos in which i talk about what you should do after after you get certified okay so and like i said look at your strengths and what you are interested in and i hope this helps you out in your career guys please do like and subscribe to this channel share this video thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video good luck